So here's today's project. We got a little old pond right here that's leaking. Lady had it built here in front of her house. And it's never really held water. It's about the most water it's ever had in it just because we had a big rain the other day. So I'm going to pump all this out and we're going to seal the bottom. Um, I don't know why it's got all these holes dug in it, but I'm going to dig it out, probably take a foot of dirt out. We're gonna put in. We got. We got here 20,000 pounds of. It's a granular bentonite. When that gets wet, it swells up about three or four times its original size to like a slime, and that's used as like a, a water sealant. Well drillers use it, but it uh, pretty much seal the bottom. So I'm just gonna everything from the water line down. I'm gonna go and notch out about a foot. Put a layer of that in there and cover it back up with dirt. And uh, hopefully, when the pond fills up with the water, it'll hit that layer. That'll kind of be like a liner because water won't pass through it. And it should hold the, hold the pond full. She also drilled a, uh, a well right there. They got 55 gallons a minute, so she's going to put that into the pond. So that should keep it full since it really doesn't have much water shed. It's kind of on the side of a hill right here. So, take some more video throughout. So now I got all the water out. We pumped all that out. I had to push it over there. So pump, pump it out. When they stripped about a foot off, kind of right here where all that water was, somebody kind of dug a hole out. So I got a lot of mud. I'm just actually, I was going to try to use it, but I'm just going to actually take it out and pile it up here on shore now. Uh, it's just, it's just going to be too big of a pain to try to dig out in the mud, get to a solid base and put that crap back on it and over to bentonite. So actually piled up my good dirt over there so I can reuse that and I'll just actually dig down the, the pond another foot or eight or ten inches or so, get enough dirt to replace this. So I'll just take this dirt right here. I'll just put it up here on the shore for now and we'll figure out what we want to do with it later. It's just not worth the headache of trying to grade over top of pure mush. So it, I mean it ain't but four or five loads so it's not in another world. Alright so we're putting out two bags of bentonite. Took the skid steer in here. Kind of graded all that out. I got all the mud out. Kind of put some of this dry dirt in there. Kind of level it all off. Kind of build a good base here. Now that's two bags. So that's 7,000 pounds. Yeah 3,500 pounds a bag. Bentonite put out. We got what five more left. So I'm going to kind of take the skid steer and grade this out. Kind of mix all this bentonite in, then I'll take this dirt, put a top dress back over it, pack it in. Then I'll start over here, I'll undercut that, put the dirt over here, put all the bentonite out over there, and put the uh, dirt back on top of it and track it in. Alright, now I got the second half of the pond dug out. I uh, took all that dirt. First I went and put about a 12 inch layer over top of all that bentonite I put out. I tracked it in. Then I made a 12 inch cut and piled it all up. You can kind of see the uh, line right there where I quit, but where the pipe is. So I got four more bags and we'll put them out. I was going to be swift and pick one up with just the bucket teeth and uh, that didn't work too good as you can tell. We kind of spilled that bag. I just tried to snag it on two bucket teeth. And it tore, so I'll just scoop that one up and put it on the edge right here. And I'm all done, so I'm going to go ahead and cover all this real quick. Alright, so all the bentonite is put out here in the uh, second half of the pond. I'm going to kind of back drag that with the skid steer, kind of spread it out. Try to get a little more even. That's not too bad for spreading it with the excavator. Then we'll take all that dirt right there. Spread it over top of this and track it in. Pretty much... Finishing it up now, once I spread that dirt out, I was going to dress everything up, pack it in with the tracks. That pretty much be the bentonite liner. So the pond is done. All that dirt spread over here, kind of graded out and tracked in. Even put in a few rocks. Kind of make it look good from the house. And we ran the water hose down here just for good luck. Probably take it six months, but every little bit helps. So, that's pretty much the pond sealed now. 
That's been running for 20 minutes and it's got a puddle. <laughs> so we just need a few big rains and we'll cut the water off. But that's what she looks like now. And hopefully one day the water will be up to that rock.